so okay so we're starting with the present tense um, and again I know this is very simple but it's just uh, a review of the present tense if you're unsure of when to use it and how to use it so let's start so this is just an example of the verb uh, to change you know in Spanish it's cambiar um, so as you can see once you know your pronouns so I you he, she, it, we, and they. Once you know those pronouns, the conjugation is very easy. So as you notice, the only um, verb that changes, or the conjugation that changes, is the third person, he, she, it. Um, and as you can see, there's an S at the end. And that's the only one that changes when we are talking about the present tense, right? So I change, you change, he, she, it changes, we change, and they change, okay? So that is an example of how we conjugate the present tense. So let's have a look at a few examples. So we're still using the verb to change. Um, and I've put the Spanish equivalent next to the corresponding sentence. So let's have a look. I change my clothes all the time. I change my clothes all the time. So you're coming with Europa todo el tiempo. You change bags every day. You change bags every day. And he, she, it changes the TV channel. So he changes the TV channel or she changes the TV channel or it changes the TV, or the TV channel. Okay, so changes. And then we go back to we, which doesn't change. We change the light bulb. We change the light bulb and they change their shoes every day. They change their shoes every day. Okay, so let's have a look at the verb to have, which is another one. So uh, I have, you have, and then the third person changes to has. So he, she, it has. We have and they have. So let's have a look at some examples with have. I have a beautiful cat. You have a dog. He, she, it has a big house. We have a red car and they have many books. Okay, so that's just a, a simple introduction to the present tense. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.